Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. I promised you an office video today. I have four minutes shot. That includes a um, two minute DIY. Um, <laughs> I guess when we put the phone over on the phone holder, I, I, I must have, or Jimmy must have accidentally hit the unrecord button and my eyes just, I don't know. Anyway, I will share with you tomorrow um, what we've done today. I will edit. Um, I'll basically put the four minutes of video today onto the video for tomorrow. So I wanted to come on and just give you a little vlogster and tell you about a little update today. Um, tomorrow I go for my eye shots. So hopefully I will be able to work in the craft room. Um, today we actually did pretty good like work um i got you know i had all these hooks and now the hooks are like where are the hooks and they're missing and like it's kind of like so confusing that I, I swear i left them out for me to do the project with and i know that memory loss is um you know like short-term uh, memory loss is a big deal um and the good news is, is that at least I have recollection when it happens for most of everything. Um, so that doesn't give me, uh, lead me to great concern. It just leads me to brain, uh, you know, med medication brain and cancer brain and all the things that are occupying my brain. So um, I'm going to at least take you to a tour tomorrow. I'll go in there and I'll show you what we did and how it looks finished. Um, and if I, if I can't work, I'll at least do that, uh, to share it with you. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I wanted to just touch base today about, um, a lot of changes that are happening around here. Um, uh, for those of you who may or may not know that this Lisa has come to stay with us uh, while she goes through some stuff, where she works out some of uh, some logistics in her life. Um, we are currently sitting her kitties because she went to go um, away for a while to see her sister. So um, my dinner's here apparently. So I'm gonna eat. Whoa! I didn't heat up the chicken though. Oh, how come? I don't know. I don't know if you wanted me to or not. Yeah. Um, did you give me all the chicken? <laughs> no, that's mostly it's half broccoli, half or half cauliflower, half chicken. Okay. Um, I, I think I think this is okay. I think I can try to manage this. Okay. Gonna let some of the bro uh, the cauliflower heat up some of the chicken. I think because okay. I didn't want it cold, cold, but it's okay. I didn't want it too hot either. Thank you, sweetheart. That's why I figured about between the cold chicken and the hot. Yeah, chicken. that's good. Thank you. Um, sorry about that. So, um, so right now we're kitty sitting, which is a joy, as you can imagine. Um, they're two very, very well behaved, uh, felines. Um, the, um, the older one has got some vision issues and girl can relate. And the younger one, and she's not much younger, but the younger one is, um, just loves all the food all the time. I didn't sit out in the living room today. We're having a bit of a cold spell and I don't think I shared with you that the lawn service people accidentally weed whacked or lawn mowered a rock into our sliding glass doors. The, not the door, but the stationary pane of glass, which is two double pane of glass. So right now, the insulating factor is like probably not not zero, but pretty close because it's just a single pane of glass and it got down to 20 degrees last night. So you can imagine even with the fireplace running all day, it's kind of cold in that like little living room area. I've mentioned before that that living room area is kind of self-contained because it's a, a an, an additional, it's, a, it's an original add-on. It doesn't make sense. Basically, we had two add-ons to this house when they built it. They built it and then added on and then added on again. 
and that's the first add-on. And I, I believe they just enclosed the carport. I mean, they closed the, a garage. Like, I, I kind of feel, really feel like I believe that. Because um, it really has almost no crawl space. Um, it's about 12 inches of crawl space. Um, according to the, the home inspector. And um, just the way everything is wired. And the fireplace, you know, the fireplace is there. It's not connected to... Uh, the firebox isn't connected to a chimney anymore or anything, but we don't use it. We never have. Um, it wasn't safe to use when we first moved in, and now we just have our electric fireplace in front of it. Um, but it's also not insulated properly, so a lot of cool air comes in there as well, which is something we said we were going to rectify. Um, we just haven't yet. And um, it's just really cold in the living room today. So I worked in the office with Jim for a few hours after he came up from work. And then I was exhausted and came back in here. And I ended up taking a nap because I have been really pushing myself to do all of the things that I haven't been able to do in a year. And I have to remind myself that the doctor said, don't rush it. I make sure I get up every day just like I was before. I'm getting dressed now. I, you can't tell because I have my pajamas back on. But when you see the the video from the office, you'll see that I had on uh, clothes and stuff. <laughs> but it's just, it's um, it's it's hard. It's a hard lesson in patience. Um, it's actually, it seems to be a lot harder being patient with being able to do some things and not everything than it was to like not be able to do anything. I, I don't know if you guys can relate, if anybody can relate out there. Um, tonight's dinner is cut up rotisserie chicken and cauliflower. Not rice, just regular whole cauliflower. Um, got no sauce on or anything because I can't really do like acid just yet. Um, any kind of like, a lot of sauces have vinegar base. Uh, except for like Alfredo, but I don't really want a heavy Alfredo sauce on this. So it's just plain steamed cauliflower. It's good. The chicken has got like a lemon pepper taste. I think it was a lemon pepper rotisserie chicken at one point. Um, anyhow, having all kinds of insurance issue problems. Like everybody's like, you should get Medicaid. Medicaid, it's so much better. So much better to get Medicaid. No, it's not. No, it's not. I had insurance for five years through the marketplace. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. I had insurance for... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Yeah. I had insurance for five years in the marketplace plus because I started the plan again. And I never had these issues. The only issue that I had ever with my insurance was like when the home health care companies here didn't take my insurance. And then the hospital here didn't take my insurance. But that's like almost like that's the hospital's fault, not my insurance's fault. But now every day it's like, I had to call like 47 people because the new in, new in health insurance said, oh, you have the other health insurance. And Medicaid's saying, oh, you want to use your primary health insurance. I was like, well, you didn't let me have two insurances because I would have paid for both. I would have had two in a second. I would have had no denials ever. But they're like, oh, no, you can't have both. So then why you keep telling me I have a second one? Like, that doesn't even make sense. Your rules. <laughs> It's just been a lot of on the phone. And then, of course, you had no voice for a while. And, of course, I had no brain capacity sometimes. So trying to get words out. And, and I'm grateful that people here understand. People here are so kind. They understand, like, you know, you're just having a bad day, moment, month, year. Um, And then, you know, I think I made the phone call to the insurance and Medicaid and... Mo Health Net and the old insurance, like, I don't know, 12 times with an advocate, without an advocate, by myself, with the people, cross referenced phone calls. Like, I had one insurance on with the Medicaid, and then I had the Medicaid on with the other insurance, and I had that. Well, the cream for my, the ointment for my back. The, originally, they denied the ointment for my back. With prior author, they said they needed prior authorization, so I finally got it, and then they denied it. Okay, I still have the rash on my back. I still need the ointment. I don't know what to tell you. So then I said, well, originally before it was ointment and then it was the 
solution, like a clear liquid solution that we mixed into our own cream and not our own cream. It's either the Eustring cream or a Vani cream. And that was what we would put on. And so I said, let's try that. I called the doctor's office. I said, I'm going to submit for a, re a re review renewal. If you can see about getting prior authorization on the solution, maybe they'll offer, like get that instead. We have had that since the, ins the new insurance. So let's see. And it's just been maddening. It's just been maddening. I am in quite a bit of pain. I hope that what I'm doing just to keep my skin moisturized isn't really doing anything negative. And I'm sure it isn't. I'm just putting, I just put Vaseline on um, just for tonight. Uh, previously, the medication is a, a like a steroid cream. So I tried hydrocortisone. Just, I know it's a much weaker steroid cream. Jimmy said it looked like it was drying out the spots and that didn't look good. So today I just put Vaseline on it. It's not comfortable. It, it hurts quite a bit. Even sitting up when I lay down, it's 40 times worse. So I wanted to sit up so I can eat and vlog and tell you guys about it. Um, so we're still in the insurance runaround work um, we're doing. And... I feel like I feel like that everybody needs a medical advocate. <laughs> if you don't know what you're doing, there's got to be somebody out there who can help you. Who knows what they're doing? And obviously, there are social workers and finance people at the facilities that will help you. But really, are they there to benefit you or the facility? Does that almost make sense? Like, you know, can you rely on them for what's best for the patient? You hope you could, you know. I just have trouble um, doing stuff online. I have trouble seeing. Like when I go to fill in a, a paper document, I'm like off the line. When I get my magnifying glass out, I'm like, Doo -doo -doo. and I can't write and hold a page and with my magnifying glass is too much. But anyway, this all sounds like a lot of complaining, but it's not. It's just frustrating, obviously. I know a lot of you are probably going through very similar situations, if not the exact same stuff. And it's just, you know, hey, camaraderie let's uh, let's find let's find uh peace in each other okay maybe that will do that so there's just a lot of that stuff going on there's a lot of changes happening here um there's a lot of oh you know hurry up and wait like i finally got my brace off now i want to do everything and then i paid for it instantaneously like the next day and it just so frustrating you just got to keep smiling because my body may be broken, but my smile still works. And, uh, yeah, it's just. <sighs> no. All right, I'm going to go. I'm going to eat this, and then I will um, catch up with you tomorrow, hopefully. The eye doctor uh, dilation and stuff will clear up by the afternoon that I can go ahead and go back in the craft room and share with you everything that we've done because I really do want to update you guys on what we did there as far as the cleaning and organizing was concerned um, because there is quite a bit we did and I wanted to share it with you so I love you <laughs> please remember if nobody's told you today that you're loved please come by and hear how much I love you because guys you make it all worthwhile you really do I have a great family. I have great extended family and a great, a huge, f f wonderful friend base pool of family friends and friends and family, friends that become family. But you guys make it uh, just the everyday. You just make it worthwhile. I love you. And as always, you take care. God bless. And we'll see you next time. Bye.